this is semifinal, right? Yes. Um, right now, you're live if it's blinking, or if it's solid, it's live. And if you press it once, it'll blink. The red? Yeah. So, like, it can hear me?
Well, welcome out to Cary, North Carolina for today's USA South semifinal matchup between the number two seed William Peace Pacers and the three seed, the Monarchs of Methodist University. We'll run through the starting lineups very quickly. Uh, in goal for the Pacers, the goalkeeper of the year, a junior from Swansboro, North Carolina, Trip Kidd. A junior defender, Jose Martinez from Wake Forest, North Carolina. A senior, Rush Campbell. A junior, Jorge Lemus. Lemus also player of the year in the USA South. A lot of talent on this field today. TJ Hurd, Danny Alvarez, Jorge Aguilar. Number 12, Karan Williams. Number 14, Ramiro Vera. Number 24, Davis Kelly. And number 28, Josh Rutland, who was also USA South Rookie of the Year. So the Pacers bring in Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, and Goalkeeper of the Year onto the field. They also had three more first-team all-conference players in Rush Campbell, Danny Alvarez, TJ Hurd, and then Jorge Aguilar was second-team All-USA South. We'll jump to the Monarchs and take a look at their roster. And they also had multiple all-conference honorees, a couple of second-team guys. Number two, Charlie Tetri. Number five, Christopher Schaffler. Number six, Ryan Rivera. Number seven, Hudson Zeisman. Number nine, Sean Laney. Number 11, Casey Atwell. Number 14, Matthew Mazzano. Number 17, Daniel Megan. Number 27, Caleb Thomas. Number 30, Miller Davis. And a freshman in goal, number 34, Matthew Walker who was second-team all-conference, Hudson Zeisman and Charlie Tetri, the two other Monarchs who were all-conference for Methodist. Justin Tranova in his 20th season at the helm for the Monarchs. And Ryan Huber in his sixth season for the Pacers. And the Monarchs are in the green, the Pacers in the white. Getting ready for kickoff here on a beautiful Thursday in Cary, North Carolina. It'll be Casey Atwell that gets us started. And the semifinals of the USA South Men's Soccer Conference Tournament is underway. Christopher Schaffler. Out wide here. Just gets inside to the edge of the box. Pacers able to play it out, but not fully. And that shot over the goal and out of bounds. These two teams have outscored their opponents, almost doubled them up in the first periods of games. William Peace with 12 first half goals, just like the Monarchs with 12. Methodist outscoring their opponents 12-5. And William Peace outscoring their opponents 12-6 in the first half. But the damage really done by the Pacers in the second half. They're outscoring teams 26-8 in the second half of play. 38-14 total on the year. As Kelly working all the way back. Pacers been on the defensive half here in the first few minutes of the game. Trying to get possession and attack. And they might have an opportunity here. This is Aguilar. Back to Vera. And that one's going to go out of bounds for a Monarch throw in. Mazzano, this to the back line and intercepted by the Pacers. First time we've seen William Peace here in the offensive zone. Looks like Danny Alvarez. A shot outside the box, blocked. That was heard. Uh, Monarchs back line doing a nice job shutting that down. Nice run there by Christopher Schaffler, but gets nudged out of bounds. Pacers regain possession. 
Now they're trying to make a run down the side. Only one in the box for the Pacers. Looking for a pin. And it'll be a goal kick, but nice few moves inside the box there from Jorge Lemus. The USA South Player of the Year. Lemus, 14 games this season, 11 goals, 3 assists. Very well deserving of Player of the Year. It'll be a handball there. And free kick for Methodist right at the halfway line. They'll take it quickly. That's Atwell. Nice job by Karan Williams. Defensive tackle with that ball. Gets called for a foul. Monarchs take it quickly again. Work it all the way back. This is Mazzano. Working on Alvarez. Tries to send it out wide, not on the same page. And the Pacers have a throw in. Take it quickly, and they might be off and running here. Looks like Davis Kelly. Tries a feel in the middle of the field, but intercepted by the Monarchs. Atwell, I believe. Now all the way to the back line. Nice play by Jose Martinez for the Pacers there. Come up, get an interception, force a throw in. And now Aguilar is off and running. Trying to send a cross in, but dribbles that one out of bounds. Another goal kick for the freshman, Matthew Walker. Walker from Apex, North Carolina. Second team all-conference, as I said, when I was going through the starting lineups. Both these teams, uh, this game involves the first and second team goalkeepers in the conference. And goals will come at a premium here this afternoon. All played into the box, but Walker's there to corral it. Talked about the second half scoring for the Pacers with 26, and that's where the difference is in these teams. Only 14 for Methodist throughout the year. Both teams equal in the first half, but the Pacers really come alive in the second. This is Schaffler. Working through that pacer defense. Sends one in the box and easily scooped up there by Kidd, a junior from Swansboro, North Carolina. Session back and forth. Earlier in the season, Pacers traveled to Methodist, won 2 nil. Now find themselves battling the Monarchs here in the semifinal of the USA South Tournament. This is Kelly at the sideline. Sends it back to Martinez. And back to Kit. Martinez once again. And Kelly trying to find some space. That was taken away by Zeisman. Mazzano at midfield for the Monarchs. Through seven minutes of play here. Ball goes out of bounds, trying to find Laney for Methodist. A throw in here for the Pacers. Oh, 
Schaffler trying to play that one into Lanient. Goes out of bounds. Pacers take a quick throw in. Quickly possession one back by the Monarchs. Nice job by the midfield of the Pacers there. Jorge Aguilar winning a ball. Through ball there from Martinez. Intercepted. This is Schaffler making his way through the Pacers' back line into the box. Nicely taken away by Williams. Attack still on here for Methusa. Inside the box, cross played in. Ball still swirling around, and that shot wide. The first real opportunity of the game there by the Monarchs. Very well inside the box. And Kidd didn't even have to make an effort as that shot was off target. Well, I believe Caleb Thomas of the Monarchs. But if you're Methodist, this tempo and style of play, they've had a lot of possession. As I said before, they lost 2-0 in the first meeting of the year. So if they can get an early goal here, really boost that confidence throughout the match. Walker corrals that one with ease, sends his mates back and going to send one past midfield here. Right into the sun. You see a few of them Pacer defenders. Look like TJ Hurd there. Hand in the sky. A beautiful November day here in Cary, North Carolina. Mid-60s, light breeze. Throw in here for the Pacers in a dangerous area. Gets to throw it into the box. And that first touch goes out of bounds by Danny Alvarez. And it'll be a goal kick for the Monarchs. First ball won there by Methus and sent it into their offensive half. Sean Laney here working. Nice step there by Jorge Aguilar. Able to win the ball back for the Pacers. That midfield in the back of the line for William Peace done a nice job today. So far, Corralin. Quick attacks by Monarchs. This first matchup was an intense one. There were seven yellow cards in that game in Fayetteville. And the Peace Pacers took the game 2-0. Goals by Josh Rutland and the uh, USA South Player of the Year, Jorge Lemus. But an intense game in the first matchup, and I'm assuming we'll get that much more here this afternoon. Davis lets it roll all the way back to Walker. This is Rivera. Plays it to the midfield. The Monarchs looked a little out of touch there as the Pacers applying a little pressure. Getting a couple throw-ins here. This one... Another dangerous area. Have one on the opposite side of the field. And first touch went directly out of play. See if William Peace can do a little something more with it here. Haven't had their first shot on goal yet. A 
foul there. Looks like that was yeah Matthew Mazzano. A very aggressive slide tackle there. He thought it was clean. He nicked Davis Kelly a bit. And this will be a real opportunity here for the Pacers on the free kick. Jorge Aguilar, the senior. Santa Rosa Depacon, Honduras native. Will be the one to take it for the Pacers. Only a two-man wall for the Monarchs. And a big chance here. A couple of early runs there. He'll take it now. A nice ball in. And no Pacer able to get ahead on it. It'll be a goal kick for Walker. But a good free kick opportunity there for the Pacers. Just not able to capitalize. Almost aggressively won there by Lemus. He was looking for a little contact, but the Pacers get it right back at midfield. Over to Aguilar. Revere there. And now Aguilar again. He's going to send the ball in. He had Rutland on that back post. A nice flick by the back line of the Monarchs and we'll have our first corner of the match Aguilar going to take it 15 minutes in here in the USA South semifinal between the Monarchs and the Pacers just a few minutes ago Peace had a free kick opportunity here's a corner nice ball in and headed over by Jose Martinez Possession has flipped here over the first five to seven minutes. Monarchs more in their offensive side of the field, and the Pacers seem to have found their rhythm. Quickly possession, one back by the midfield of William Peace. Ball played all the way down. That's Rutland down in the corner, I believe, and it goes out of play for a Monarchs throw-in. This is Alvarez. Now out wide. Into the box. Opportunity here, and that one up and over by the freshman Rutland. USA South Rookie of the Year, golden opportunity, but just sends it just over the top crossbar. For really the first real chance of the afternoon for the Pacers. Walker sends it away. One. Midfield by the Pacers and that'll be a, excuse me, by the Monarchs and a foul on Danny Alvarez. Looks like it was on Casey Atwell. Monarchs take it quickly. Ball inside the box here, but Pacers get to it first and send it away. Go out of bounds on the Monarchs' side of the field for a throw-in. Nice through ball here for the Monarchs. That's Sean Laney, but taken away. 
quickly the Pacers looking to counter. Aguilar plays it through. He finds Lemus. Lemus back to Aguilar just outside the box. And a dangerous slide tackle. And another one on Lemus there. That one is going to be called. That one, Miller Davis, a sophomore from Charlotte, North Carolina, Audrey Kell High School. It's called for the foul there. Lemus slow to get up here, but when he does, the Pacers will once again have another fantastic opportunity. In a dangerous area for a free kick. Aguilar to take it. He took the last free kick and the only corner of the game so far. Both very good balls in. Let's see if he can deliver another one. That one floated just a bit. It's still around in the box. It gets played back out to Aguilar. I'll go up top to Kelly. And that shot looked like it was blocked and almost an own goal there. And it'll go out for a corner. It was Charlie Tetry just trying to get a deflection on it. And the Pacers will have another corner. William Peace really found their groove here in the past 10 to 15 minutes offensively. In their second corner of the game. They've had two free kicks in. Dangerous areas. Aguilar, this ball in, and this one, first touch, slung wide by Jose Martinez, the junior from Wake Forest, North Carolina. And Walker gets set to send it away for the Monarchs. Win pieces 9, 3, and 4 on the year. 5, 1, and 1 in the USA South. Good enough to finish second and host the first two rounds. Second only behind NC Wesleyan. The Monarchs, 9, 2, and 5 on the year. 4, 1, and 2 in conference play. So the matchup between the number two and three squads here in the USA South. Like I said, plenty of all-conference talent on the field. Seven for the Pacers and three for Methodist. And Rivera sends that one out of bounds. And William Peace will have a throw in. Davis Kelly to take it. Nice run by Jorge Lemus there, but first touch. Not soft enough and rolls out of bounds for another goal kick here. This is Schaffler out wide for the Monarchs. Blazes it all the way back to... Zeisman. And now Davis tries to play it through. And once again, that midfield of the Pacers being very stingy. This is TJ Hurd. Now Campbell. All the out wide. The Pacers. Moving with pace here. And a big tackle from Mazzano, I believe. Maybe a throw in William Peace. He 
either Mazzano or Megan there, but a huge tackle inside the box to stop that run. And actually not a throw in, a foul called, so another free kick opportunity in the offensive zone here for the Pacers. Looks like Methodist with the first header and just sent out by Laney. And it'll be a throw in for William Peace on the opposite side of the field. TJ Hurd, the senior from Jacksonville, North Carolina, to sling it in. Pacers looking for a handball. Looked like it was Alvarez that won the first header. And then Hudson Zaisman for the Monarchs. And this is Rutland out wide, and he earns a corner for William Peace. Nice ball in here. Dangerous. Poked away by Walker. And Lemus drills that one even over the net. And we've got a Monarch down. Not sure who it is. Lemus. Man, got him with the foot there. Official asked for the clock to be stopped. Like that may have been Matthew Mazzano. Yep, on the laying out on the pitch for the Monarchs, but he's up and ready to go, and Walker sends it away. And quickly, this is Lemus. Can he get there? Sends across him, but it will end up behind the goal. Under 20 minutes here left in the first half of this semifinal matchup between the Monarchs and the Pacers. I'm Heath Banger here on the Pacers Sports Network in Cary, North Carolina at Wake Med Soccer Park. This is Aguilar. Out to Alvarez now. Alvarez with space. This is Kelly now. Cross field to Rutland. And Rutland with a tough first touch there. Taken away by the Monarchs. Quickly won back by Kelly. Rutland almost with a nice interception there. Monarchs looking to get back on their offensive side of the field. That through ball... A little bit too much. Sean Laney couldn't track it down. Kid sends this one up in the air. This is Atwell. To Mazzano. Crossfield to Schaffler. Back to Mazzano. Working through that midfield of the Pacers. Have been solid so far this first half. That one taken away quickly by T.J. Hurd. He was looking to feed Aguilar. A nice job by Rivera to shut that down. That midfield of William Peace has been tough today. And Schaffler working on the wide side of the field again. And that one sent away and out of bounds by Danny Alvarez. The Monarchs will have a throw in. Yeah. 
William Peace, one conference loss on the year. Came here in Cary at Wake Men's Soccer Park and a 3-2 defeat to NC Waisland, who went on to win the conference. So I'm sure if the Pacers can come out victorious today, they'd love to see that rematch with the Battling Bishops. Methodist, they had two conference losses, one also to the Battling Bishops, and then the 2-0 loss at home to the Pacers. And a free kick here. Jose Martinez is going to take it. And right to the hands of Matthew Walker. Monarch's trying to work quickly. Alvarez. That midfield, that's Hurd. Trying to find Aguilar. Picked off by Rivera. Foul going to be called there on Davis Kelly, I believe. Megan out wide. Now Schoeffler. Teetry has it taken away. And the Pacers have some numbers. This is Rutland. Tough first touch there by Aguilar. And now the Monarchs on a break. And Ziesman working through the pace of defense and sends across him, but easily scooped up by Kidd as it was right down that back line. Karan Williams sends a cross in. Easy work there from the freshman Matthew Walker. Just under 15 minutes left here in this first half. Still scoreless. Surprisingly, as I talked about earlier, both teams outscoring their opponents by at least six or more goals this season. The Pacers, a lot of their damage comes in the second half. Trying to find Lemus here. Nice job by Ziesman sending it away, but it's Rutland that gets it back. Here's the opportunity out wide. Aguilar sends it in again, and that's a goal. As long as the flag stays down, the William Peace Pacers take the lead here. I believe it was Josh Rutland, yeah, the freshman rookie of the year for the USA South. And George Aguilar on the assist. Finally, that Pacers offense attack breaks through here in the first half, and they take a one-goal lead with 14-16 remaining. Yes, it was confirmation. It was Josh Rutland there. There was a few Pacers in the box there who had opportunities. A nice ball crossed in by the senior, Jorge Aguilar, and finished off by the freshman from Wake Forest, North Carolina, Josh Rutland. Rutland third on the team in goals this year. Or second, excuse me, with eight. He had two assists as well. Second to... The conference play of the year, Jorge Lemus, who had 11. And we're back underway. Monarchs, after the first you know, five or six minutes, offense has been stagnant. The Pacers have held possession and really been in their offensive attack. They'll have a throw in here. Rush Campbell there, the back line for Pacers doing a nice job. Is Kelly. Kelly. 
This is Eastman. Working on Kelly. Trying to send a cross in. And he does. Nobody there for the Monarchs. Going to be tracked down by Schofler. Trying to keep it in bounds. And it'll be a throw in for the Pacers. William Peace looking to tack on another one here in the first half. Lemus sends it cross field to Aguilar, who had the assist. Aguilar sends it to his back line and Campbell. Campbell sending the ball in, trying to find Lemus. And Lemus runs right into Walker, who comes out and firmly takes control of that ball. Walker, really, I mean, he put himself in a good position trying to make that save. Aguilar just got so deep into the box, kind of put him in a weird position, sent a nice cross in, and he had multiple pacers in the box trying to find an opportunity. And a freshman, rookie of the year in the conference, finds the back of the net and breaks the scoreless game here in the first half. That header won by Hurd, and the Pacers back in control here. This is Rutland who had the goal. Now a strong attack here. This is Hurd. He drops off to Alvarez. Alvarez has Aguilar looking to play it through, and he does. Aguilar not going to be able to get there. A nice through, there, through ball there from Alvarez, but just a touch bit. Too much pace. And Aguilar, who's been everywhere in this first half so far, not able to get there. And a whistle blown here by the official. Having a chat with Back line of the Pacers and looks like Methodist may have made a sub. Keith are for a one of Seth. That's who it looked like head official was having a chat with and Foul here on William Peace, and Methodist will have a free kick here. A dangerous area. A cross to be sent in, and Kid makes that look pretty simple. Comes up and takes that opportunity away quickly. And this is Rutland. Trying to find Aguilar, but pass not accurate. One back by Alvarez and Aguilar. This is Martinez. Back to Aguilar. And offsides is the call on Danny Alvarez. And just under 10 minutes left here in half number one here in the USA South semifinal between the Monarchs and the Pacers. Monarchs win that ball at midfield, send it through. And Martinez just walks it to Kidd, scooped up and quickly throws it out to Hurd. Hurd all the way downfield and a big first touch from Rutland, but it wins it right back, trying to find Lemus here. And Lemus taking down in box, looking for a foul. And he's not going to get that one. May need to be a little bit stronger there, I thought. Had the opportunity to just put that foot out on the ground and get a shot on goal, but was trying to get a foul and a penalty there, but had official not going for it.
Pacers just working the back line here. This is Martinez. Up to Campbell. Campbell. Excuse me, that was Hurd. Hurd was trying to get it to the freshman Rutland. He was fouled there. They'll have a free kick. William Peace with nine shots on goal to Methodist three here so far. Or nine shots, excuse me. Two of them on goal. Rutland takes a shoulder there. Monarchs win possession back. Atwell on the far side. Monarchs have a throw in. It'll be Christopher Schoeffler. Schoeffler earning another throw in here. And a couple of subs looking to come on for the Monarchs. Looks like it's freshman Harrison Broom and sophomore Jace Gleason. JC, excuse me, JC Gleason. That ball sent all the way into the box, and Walker scoops it up easily. Offensive attack spread pretty equally for the Monarchs. Hudson Eastman leads the team with seven goals. He's got six assists as well. And then Keith Fornaseth, he's got five goals on the year. And Casey Atwell and Charlie Teetree with four each. Like I said, they're only... Managed to muster up three shots here in this first half compared to the Pacers' nine. First five to seven minutes were dominated by the Monarchs. Offensively, they were in their half. That's where those shots came from as the subs do come on here for the Monarchs for the last five minutes or so. Looks like it'll be Charlie Teetree coming off and Christopher Schoeffler. So, Jace Gleason and Harrison Broom on for the Monarchs now. here. Hudson Zeisman. He just drops it off to Rivera. Rivera's going to send the ball in the box. Nobody home for the Monarchs but not cleanly played away. And offsides flag is up. First real somewhat opportunity there from a kick into the box by the Monarchs but offsides is the call. Under five minutes to go here in half one, number one, and Lemus is off and running, trying to find some space, and he does. Lemus trying to get another one, drops it off, and another goal for the Pacers. That was Romero Vera. That was a fantastic play by the USA South Player of the Year, Jorge Lemus, and the Pacers commanding 2-0 lead here in the first half. That is Jorge Lemus' fourth assist on the year. And it might be that is, I believe, Romero Vera's first goal of the season. And boy, is that a good time to find it. Stretch that pace for lead to 2-0. With only four and a half to go here in the first half. A lot of say, a lot of people say that this is the year for the Pacer men's soccer team. A lot of buzz around it all year, and obviously it's shown second 
place finish. Uh, player of the year, rookie of the year, and goalkeeper of the year. They'll have a sub coming on here. Donnie Leahy, uh, Jr., Kernersville, North Carolina. Checking in here. It'll be Lemus coming off. He got tripped up there. I think he's okay. No injury. Just wanted to get him off with give him a little extra breather before the half. And this is Aguilar. He'll play it to Leahy. Leahy off and running quickly as he gets into the game. Touch a bit too strong and loses possession. And foul there on Leahy. It'll be a free kick for the Monarchs. But Lemus, I mean, just fantastic football there. Getting around his defender, getting inside the box, and a nice clean pass to Romero Vera, who found himself in a fantastic position to put that one away. Slot that bottom right corner. And Pacers with a 2-0 lead. Talked about it at the beginning of this half. Both teams all season have been very well in the first half of games. But the Pacers... Outlasting the Monarchs here so far. Two first half goals and a lot of their damage comes in the second half. The first meeting of the year, the Pacers took 2-0 as well. Most dangerous lead in all of sports. Two goals in soccer, some might say. This is Leahy. Fantastic job to corral that one in the box and sent away by the Monarchs' back line. That'll be a William Peace corner. Under two and a half to go here and half number one. Aguilar taking his time to go and take this corner. Sends a nice ball in the box, headed away by the Monarchs, but corralled by the Pacers outside the box. Sent back in, and nobody home. Danny Alvarez there trying to spark something. Approaching a minute and a half left here in half number one. Walker's going to send this one away. This is Gleason, the sub who checked in for the Monarchs. Had his first touch of the ball game. Now Method is trying to switch field here. This is Rivera. Mazzano out wide. Monarchs finally connecting on a few passes here, and as soon as I say that, Deflection. Uh, the Monarchs win it right back. And give it away. Caleb Thomas earns a throw in here. Takes it quickly. This looks like Harrison Broom out wide. Sends a cross in. But right to the USA South goalkeeper of the year, Trip Kidd. We're approaching 15 seconds left here in half number one, and it sure does look like William Peace will take a two-goal lead into half. Kid sends it away, and that will do it for our first half here in Cary, North Carolina. William Peace Pacers lead the Methodist Monarchs 2-0. A goal from Amira Vera on an assist from the USA South Player of the Year, Jorge Lemus, as well as a goal from the USA South Freshman of the Year, Josh Rutland, on an assist 
from number 10, Jorge Aguilar. 2-0, Pacers. And the USA South semifinal. We'll be back with second half action here on the Space Pacer Sports Network.
Welcome back here on the Pacer Sports Network. I'm Heath Barringer here in Cary, North Carolina at Wake Med Soccer Park here for USA South semifinals between the Pacers of William Peace and the Monarchs of Methodist. William Peace with a 2-0 lead after the first half of play. That was the final scoreline of their regular season matchup this year. But the Monarchs offense obviously looking to get back into the game. Two-goal lead. Most dangerous lead in sports, some would argue. Goals from the freshman Josh Rutland, USA South Rookie of the Year. He started the scoring for the Pacers in the first half, often assist from Jorge Aguilar. And the second goal scored by the Pacers. was Romero Vera off an assist from the USA South Player of the Year, Jorge Lemus. Lemus was subbed off right at the end of the first half, but he's back out on the pitch to start the second. Free kick here. Aguilar to take it. Pacers moving plenty inside the box here. They could really shut the door if they could tack on another one early in this second half. Nice ball in. First header won by the Monarchs. And back out and cross field to Aguilar. He'll play it to Alvarez. Vera, now Rutledge inside the box. That one sent way out of play. And Williams sends it in. This is Mazzano on the back line for the Monarchs. And that one intercepted by Hurd. Hurd into Lemus. Just on the outside part of the box on the far side of the field. Just drops it off to Aguilar. They've worked well so far today. And that one, trying to curl that one in, finding Hurd, but scooped up by the freshman Walker. Walker second team, all USA South for the Monarchs. Spin cycle there from Hurd. They keep it alive, and this is Campbell bolting down the side of the field. Excuse me, that's Williams. And it'll be a free kick here for William Peace. Aguilar, the senior, to take it. Already has one assist in this game. A nice curling ball in, but headed out by the Monarchs. And Davis Kelly back to corral it. Kelly over to Vera. Owen played all the way into the box and in dangerous. That official's going to stop the clock there. And Walker, I mean, he's inside the box there and he punches it away. And the freshman, Josh Rutland, who has a goal in this game already, is second on the team in goals. USA South Rookie of the Year, he went up with no fear at all. Trying to head another one in. And caught the hands of Matthew Walker.
Pacers will keep possession. They'll have a throw in. Just outside the box here. This is Vera again, but taken away. Monarchs play it out. Methodist looking to string together a few passes and get their offense in a rhythm. At midfield of the Pacers have been very stingy this afternoon. On just a beautiful November day here in Cary, North Carolina. That ball playing out wide to Rutland. Is he going to get there in time? He does. Uh, freshman keeping it rolling this season. Nice ball in, but headed away by the Monarchs. This is Mazzano. Now Davis. All the way back to Kidd in goal for the Pacers. He sends a nice ball to find the freshman and fantastic first touch, but taken away. This is Atwell. Out wide to Schofler. Schofler looking for a run there from Atwell, but nothing doing now on the same page, and Kidd will scoop that up, and we've got a, looks like maybe just a cramp here for Methodist. That is Caleb Thomas. Thomas, he's going to walk off the field injury, and uh, Ryan Rivera will check back in for the Monarchs. Schofler working that back line, and Mazzano fouls T.J. Hurd there of the Pacers. Rutland tripped up there in the box. Don't think it was by a Monarch. And Megan earns possession here for a Methodist. It'll be a goal kick from the freshman Walker. Foul there called on Hurd on the attack. From the goal kick here for the Monarchs. Ten shots for the Pacers compared to just three for Methus. One of those on goal for the Monarchs and three on goal for the Pacers. Monarchs have yet to find their first corner opportunity as well, while Pacers have four. Each team with seven fouls so far. And one save apiece from both of these stellar all-conference goalkeepers. Hey, 
This is Atwell at midfield. And he's going to be taken down by Josh Rutland, the freshman. Rutland trying to get an answer, but clearly hooked him there. Took him to the ground. Monarchs just playing it in their defensive half. Finally, this is Zeespin, and now Mazzano. Mazzano back to the defensive line once again. Up front, that's Zeespin. Mazzano now again. Trying to find some type of opportunity. That back line of the Pacers have been stout. This is a Schoeffler. That one deflected, and Campbell just heads it back to his goalie kid. This ball trying to be played to Rutland, headed away by Cross. Now a ball inside the box from Alvarez and taken care of from Walker. Walker boots this one away. And Tea Tree there trying to corral it. Still not able to do so, but Ziesman heads it his way. Pacer's able to gain control for a minute, but now Ziesman again. He'll drop it back off to Mazzano. Mazzano sends one, and that one will go out of bounds. Kid with a goal kick coming. Sub here for the Pacers. Josiah Corona coming on for the freshman, Josh Rutland. Session almost won back. Now Rivera for the Monarchs. And this is Zeesman, the leading goal scorer for the Monarchs. Just sends it behind the goal, and Kidd will have another goal kick incoming. Lemus trying to track that one down. He thought it was last touch by Monarch, but line judge says no. The Monarch's on the offensive attack here. Schoeffler working on Hurd here. Now Mazzano, ball inside the box, headed away. By Martinez. That one drilled well off target by Mazzano. Pops that one up in the air. Schoeffler. 
Schofler has it taken away by Krana, who's new into the ball game. That one headed out of bounds from Atwell, and a throw in for the Pacers. That's Alex Macedo, his first touch of the ball game, just subbed in for William Peace. She's a sophomore from Harris, Harrisonburg, Virginia. Methodist inside the box here, but punched away by Rush Campbell. And official says play on, and almost on a break here for the Pacers. Well out of goal is Walker. A late whistle. Macedo, I think, is going to pick up the foul there. It was on Christopher Schoeffler and a free kick here for the Monarchs. That free kick didn't even give a Monarch a chance to put a head on it in the box. Sells out of bounds. As we approach 30 minutes, 30 and a half minutes or so left in this semifinal game. First header won by the Monarchs, but Pacers find control here. Aguilar, I believe, on the wide side of the field there with some quick feet. Feeds it to Hurd now. Hurd with some space. Nice punch in, and a third goal for the Pacers. Alex Macedo slots it in the top right. Fantastic pass from TJ Hurd, I believe, on the assist. Yep. Alex Macedo, the sophomore from Harrisonburg, Virginia, just checked in and extends the Pacers' lead as T.J. Hurd, the senior from Jacksonville, North Carolina, finds the assist. Fantastic ball inside the box. Didn't find the first Pacer, but Macedo runs in and slots it home, and it's a three-goal lead now for the Pacers here in this USA South semifinal. Foul called there. William Peace will have a free kick on their defensive half of the field. And a turnover here for the Monarchs looking to be on the break. This is Atwell. Atwell trying to work away from Campbell. Can't do so. Rush Campbell with the takeaway. That will be played out of bounds. Monarchs with a throw in. Ball floating around in the box here. Mazzano, but it's sent away by that Pacers back line. Methodist all the way back to regain it. Tea tree 
All the way out wide. Monarchs looking for some type of spark here. That one sent away by Karan Williams. This is Schofler. Nice job playing it through to cross, but that one slid and taken away by Danny Alvarez. Handball there on Daniel Megan. And the Pacers will have a free kick and another dangerous spot. Ball in from Aguilar. Headed away by the Monarchs. Looks like Lemus goes to corral it. He'll send another ball in. First header there and just wide from Jose Martinez. As the Pacers looking to tack on another one, but Lemus with a nice cross in, and Martinez just puts it wide of the post. A couple of subs coming on here for the Monarchs. Looks like number 20, Caleb Allen, a sophomore from Swansboro, North Carolina. And at number 10, David Ospina, a freshman from Orlando, Florida. Approaching 26 minutes left here. That one sent all the way down the field. And Martinez drops it off to Kidd, who sells it well out of bounds, and it'll be a Monarchs throw in. Long throw and attempt here inside the box. First header won by the Pacers. Second ball won by the Monarchs and sailed well over the goal, even over the back net. And a goal kick coming from the goalkeeper of the year for the Pacers, Trip Kidd. Kidd the junior from Swansboro, North Carolina, Swansboro High School. It's a fantastic year. Only giving up 14 goals. Helped his team to a 9-3-4 record. 5-1-1 one one in the USA South. Good enough for this second seed. Pacers on the attack here once again. This is Josiah Corona. He'll send a cross in. That one booted away. And throw in coming for the Pacers. Lemus drops it off to Corona. Nice move. He'll drop it off to Lemus. Lemus sends a cross in. Just too much for the header. And a second touch there, but I think deflected away. Danny Alvarez on the attempt. And no, no deflection. Just, just too much. Too much juice on the slice there. Is Atwell and now Cross? He'll cross it. 
Monarchs with possession. This is Tree. Shot long way away, blocked. And Kidd slides in to corral it. Two more subs looking to come on here for Methodist. Three, it looks like. Harrison Broom, who checked in the first half. Jace Gleason, along with Sean Laney, who started, all looking to check back in for the Monarchs. Lemus inside the box here. And he forces Walker, the freshman, to make a save. Player of the year versus second team on conference right there. Monarchs trying to connect on some passes, get the offense some type of spark here. Obviously falling down 3-0. They've had even more sense of urgency after being 2-0 at the half, and Kid just flops on that one after another run in the box there from Methodist. This is Zeesman. Thomas. Now to Schofler. Schofler working on Alvarez and now out wide, and that pass intercepted. A poor pass. Now trying to find Lemus all the way downfield, and fantastic job by Miller Davis to. Get it to his goalkeeper and get that threat out of contention. And now Atwell and the Monarchs are on the move. But quickly tracked down and sent out of bounds. And these subs for the Monarchs will come on. They'll have a throw in. Hudson Zeesman to throw it in. Monarchs with everybody but three in the box. And that ball's floating around. Finally taken away by Rush. Campbell, that is. And Monarchs, excuse me, the Pacers on the move. A fantastic tackle and takeaway there. I believe by Caleb Thomas. This is Jace Gleason. Now David Espino getting worked and harassed by a double team down in the corner. And there will be a foul called and should be free kick opportunity here for the Monarchs. Now just be a throw in. And Hudson's Eastman to take it. The exact same spot as the last one. He's going to launch this one in there. Try to give somebody a chance. And that one headed away. And it'll be a goal kick for the Pacers. Now 
That one went midfield by the Monarchs. Third. Back to Rush Campbell. Campbell all the way back to Kidd. This is Allen on the back line for the Monarchs. Mazzano sends that one out of bounds and be a Pacers throw in. I'll have a sub come on here. Donnie Leahy checking in for Josiah Corona. This is Williams trying to find Lemus, but unable to do so. Pacers earn a throw in, though. Another sub here, and USA South Rookie of the Year, Josh Rutland, checking back in. He'll come on for the player of the year, Jorge Lemus, and that might be it for Lemus this afternoon as we approach 16 minutes left to play here in this semifinal matchup. Jose Martinez trying to play it through. Monarchs find an interception. Trying to find a breakaway here, but Campbell is there to corral it. This is Alvarez. Rutland dumps it off to Alvarez. Alvarez plays in the box. And be a foul there on Aguilar, I believe. Monarchs Player still down. Official calls for time to be stopped. Monarchs player is up and ready to rock and roll. And that'll be the first corner of the game coming here for the Monarchs. That was Schofler who earned it. And three more subs coming on here for the Monarchs. Charlie Teetry checking back in the game. So is Daniel Megan, as well as Wesley Gleason. So both Gleason brothers on the field right now for the Monarchs. Sophomores from Louisville, Kentucky. David Espina to take the corner. Lovely ball in, headed away by the Pacers. Corral just outside the box by the Monarchs. Back out to Ospina. And now Gleason has it blocked by Kelly. And the Monarchs have a throw in. Free kick here from Methodist. That one 
Ball still floating around in the box. And sent away by Hurd. Looked like Caleb Allen was the nearest Monarch to it. Just couldn't get a read on it. Daniel Cross sends it in. Now the Pacers with a chance to break away. Aguilar sends it into the box. But Leahy not able to get there in time and do anything with it. This is Rutland. All the way down to Macedo. And try to get it in the corner and then dribbles it out of bounds. Methodist will have a throw in. Daniel Cross, the junior from Jacksonville, North Carolina, to send it in. Crowd by TJ Hurd for the Pacers. Hurd with a nice ball to Leahy. Leahy trying to break through. Got held a bit there. But the Monarch back line able to hold on. And Leahy going to be caught off sides here. Walker sends this away. Fantastic job by Karan Williams there, winning that ball, earning a foul. A couple of subs set to come on here for each team. Maria Vera will be checking back in for the Pacers. And Keith for a one of Seth will be set to check back in for the Monarchs when they get the chance. And Josh Rutland, the USA South Rookie of the Year, putting on a show there, gets it taken away. And off the foot of Alex Macedo. And subs will check on for both teams as we approach 10 and a half to go. Here in this semifinal matchup, Pacers... In full control here, three 0 lead. They won the regular season matchup with the Monarchs, 2-0, and look to move on to the USA South Championship with a 3-0 win here this afternoon. Heard, who just trying to send that through ball over to Aguilar, is down a bit, slow to get up. And clock will be stopped. At just under 10 minutes. And Hurt is up and walking. I mean, just awkwardly did something to a hip there on that through ball. And we're back in action. Pacers gain control back. Williams. Trying to find Leahy and handball there on Daniel Megan. 
And the Pacers will have a free kick opportunity in a very dangerous area. Aguilar sends it in. And Walker, the freshman, easily handles that one. This is Gleason. And we'll go out of bounds for a Monarch throw in. The clock's going to be stopped again. Another pacer down. And they'll have a sub come on, I believe. And it might be. Yeah, Alex Macedo, he's going to check back in after just coming off the pitch. Danny Alvarez will be coming off here for the Pacers as the Monarchs get set for their throw-in. Goal kick there from Kidd. And the Pacers trying to win back possession at midfield, but the Monarchs take it. That one all the way down on the offensive end. And another Pacer down on the ground here. Official has stopped the clock for this injury as well. Seven and a half remaining. Looks like that was T.J. Hurd, who went down just a few minutes ago after a cross sent in and finally stayed down this time. And Rutland sends a cross in, and the Monarchs headed away. Josiah Corona on the ground there. And Monarchs with a throw in. Time winding down on their season here. Under seven to play. That pass blocked by Gleason. And Forneseth had an opportunity, but quickly taken away by that 
Back line defense. Rush Campbell and company of the Pacers. Head of the way. William Peace will have a throw in here. Official. Thought there was a sub. Now, I believe there is a sub going to be coming on for. And a yellow card. I'll be pulling and giving on Jorge Aguilar, the senior for the Pacers, on that tackle right there. Monarchs here at midfield. Give it away. A long ball coming here. And that one hop in the freshman, Matthew Walker. Second team all USA South scoops it up. Combine both teams. There are ten players on this field who have earned USA South honors and the freshman from Methodist in goal, Matthew Walker. He'll be coming off here. And, uh, looks like, I believe that might be number one, Cole Hupp, junior from Virginia Beach, Virginia, coming on for the Monarchs to see this one out. And he'll quickly get some action as that one rolls right to him. But as I was saying, 10 on the field. I brought up Matthew Walker, but also Charlie Tetri for the Monarchs and Hudson Zeesman, all second team honors for Methodists. And then the flip side of that, you know, the number two seed Pacers, I mean, the player of the year, and Jorge Lemus, and then rookie of the year. And that one just rolls wide. Methodists almost... With their first goal, as I was about to talk about Trip Kidd, the goalkeeper of the year, caught himself in an awkward position there. The Monarchs will have a corner kick. But player of the year, rookie of the year, and goalkeeper of the year, and Jorge Lemus, Josh Rutland, and Trip Kidd. That ball end blocked and battled away from Harrison Broom. And just outside the box, Lehe sends it up in the air. Broom sends it out of bounds. Pacers with a throw in. Danny Alvarez, TJ Hurd, and Rush Campbell also all first team USA South for the Pacers. And then Jorge Aguilar, second team as well. Under two and a half to go here in this USA South semifinal. Foul on the Monarchs there. I believe that was Harrison Broom. A 
Lee Hay with the header. Out wide to the freshman, Rutland. He'll work it into the corner. Trying to get by one defender and does. Get by his, almost gets by the second defender and gets tackled, essentially. And the Monarchs defender with his hands in the air. I mean, that was pretty clear cut there with a foul. And William Peace with one minute remaining here in this game has a chance to tack on another one with a free kick here in a very dangerous offensive attacking area. Only four in the box throw. One of them being the rookie of the year, Rutland. Aguilar sends it in, headed straight up in the air, and the Monarch sent it away, but not to a Monarch. And finally, they gain possession, give it right back to Aguilar. And to the corner, the Pacers go. And throw in one by Methodist as... There is 10 seconds, and that should do it. William Peace is going to head to the USA South Conference Championship as they take down Methodist 3-0 here today. Two first half goals for the Pacers this afternoon. The freshman, Josh Rutland, with the first goal, assisted by Jorge Aguilar. And then Ramiro Rivera with the second goal to give the Pacers 2 0 lead in the first half, assisted by the USA South Player of the Year, Jorge Lemus. And they really put the Monarchs away in the third. Alex Macedo found the back of the net. Off a TJ Hurd assist. And the Pacers will head on to the USA South Conference Championship. And probably battle the NC Wesleyan battling bishops who won the conference this year. And that'll be it. William Peace takes the USA South semifinal round 3-0 over the Methodist Monarchs. Thank you for joining us here on the William Peace Sports Network. <laughs> 